So I'm pretty excited to take on the two part-timers if I can get them, you know, to produce as one. That's what I was thinking. Well, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, for you, like as a business owner, if somebody is going to be like, you'll take it all. As long as people are, they're buttoned up, they're representing your company well, whether they turn in 250000 a year or a million, it's like all of it adds up. So if you get some people who are like, here are my you know, here's what I'm able or willing to do, but they still do a good job. Who cares if they're only turning in 250,000? You know, it's not like you're, if that's what they're doing because that's what they're choosing to do, that's very different than someone who has the potential to do 1.25 that you have to constantly be after to crack the whip and keep them motivated, keep them producing. Like if you guys just know up front, that's what these guys are on a mission to do is just sell 300,000 or just sell 400,000, then that's fine, you know? It doesn't take any extra effort on your end to let them do it that way. So, not really. And you know, when they start to become extra effort, is when they're no longer used to me. Well, well, yeah, and that's but that's the thing. It's like if somebody doesn't take any additional management, or you don't need to babysit them or anything. If that's what they're here to do, is sell half a million dollars or a quarter of a million dollars, then just let them. You know. The other thing that's good about that is those people are the people that do have the potential to grow. Because once you have a staff that's constantly doing a million, it's harder to get them to continue to do more. They're either going to do the same or slowly peter off. You know what I mean? So the people, yes. that, people that come in that are only like, well, I think, you know, I'm only going to work it part time or whatever. Those are the people that you have the potential to grow and develop even more so. 